So in Twitch recently, many, many streamers getting a problem with hate rates, which is a bunch of raids come to your stream and just make a mess on your alerts in your chat as well as followed by some followers, some fake followers as well. They actually trigger all bunch of your alerts and your chat. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can stop all these actions to happen to your stream using a new bot that is still in the development and alpha right now, which is Biku bot. It's a great bot right now that actually can stop having those actions. And also in the end of this video, I'm going to show you how you can do with the stream deck. Another way, if you're not actually going to start using BikuBot yet, but I highly recommend it and you're going to know why just after this. So if you're new on the channel and you've never been here before and you like this content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. We also have a Discord that can actually help you with any questions or issues about any tutorials on this channel. And if you want to check out our live stream, we stream on Twitch Monday to Friday and Tuesdays and Thursday at nighttime. The schedule and the time when the stream start is down in the description below. So what kind of bot is BicoBot? BicoBot is basically a Leon board with a regular bot. Um, however, is this bot can do a lot of more than we think they can do it, especially about hate rates, which is I don't see this in any bot. And I think this is a super cool feature uh, that they just released probably uh, not even a week ago, if not probably a little bit more by the time this video is being posted. And about the time that I'm recording this video, they just add new features on the bot as well. So let's go ahead and check that out and how you can actually start using BikuBot. All right, before we start to uh, explain how you can download Bikuta Bot, I want to say thank you so much for Bikuta for giving us the chance to give it to two uh, new uh, person here that is watching this video, two free giveaways for the keys so you can try it out BikuBot. Uh, we're going to give you those giveaways on September 15th, Wednesday, uh, on our live stream, 6.30 a.m. is their time. And this right here, what you're seeing right here on your screen is Bikuta, uh, Bikuta bot uh, Discord server, where you're going to redeem your keys. The link to get to the Discord server for Bikuta bot is right in the description below. So for you to redeem your keys, please uh, comment below on the description of this video why should we, why you should win this uh this key and also if you like it just uh click it to uh like this video as well help more people to be reach out and discover this fantastic bot and then we're going to be draw on september 15 6 30 a.m on our live stream also on the description of your comment don't forget to uh give me a way for you to reach you on uh, dm on twitch or a dm on uh, Discord, so I can go ahead and explain how you can go ahead and uh, retrieve that key and start using this fantastic bot. All right, so uh, to download this bot, first of all, you have to go to this website right here, patreon.com bikuta, which is this uh, gentleman right here that create this bot right here. Super cool. Uh, and uh, to actually for you to get this bot, right now that's only a selective membership to support uh his work to do this bot um uh, is right here tier one two three all the way to tier eight uh i believe if you start the tier one right here you got most of what i'm going to show you to you uh the tier three i think that's the one i'm having right now is the one that actually the whatever they he release on the alpha you got access right away so i get the access uh for the latest one that just come out so i'm gonna show you what you expecting when you get released to you uh but this is for now and this is still an alpha but i'm sure that it's gonna be released very soon i have no idea when it's gonna happen however the few things that i did with this bot really actually uh, amazed me about what you can do with so let's go ahead and check out the bot real quick. All right, so after you download BikaBot on your computer, just uh, open your BikaBot and uh, this, you're gonna be actually look uh, to uh, your software just like that. Uh, it won't have this connection yet. It's gonna be all blank because this is where you're gonna connect your Twitch, your OBS um, account 
right through this bot so it can talk your sources your visibility filters your alerts um and also your chat to trick some commands and everything so over here uh as you can see right here authenticated streamer you have to put your twitch account or whatever the uh, probably it's only twitch i'm not sure if this is working with youtube yet i gotta find out um but also over here authenticate bot this here is if you want to name a bot after your name uh you have to create a, a new account on twitch put the name of the account uh whatever the name you wanted to uh, to name your bot and then you're going to authenticate your bot right here so that means that that bot's the one is going to be working on um be good bot all right so once you connect right here uh, you have an OBS connection. The IP address is going to be about your, uh, you're going to have to use your web socket on OBS. If you do not have a web socket installed, plugin on your OBS, I'm going to leave the link in the description below so you can download that and make sure that your OBS house is um, not open when you're doing those downloads or any plugins. And then you can go ahead and uh, connect this bot to your OBS. Okay. So um, the backup is also have a backup right here uh, to import. And this right here is uh, just a folder where the log is staying with. This is automatic, so we don't have to do anything right here. So let's start with the first right here, the dashboard. Um, this should let you know over here, we are in a version uh, 0.3.232. This is just come out right now about like a maybe 15, 20 minutes when I start doing this video. Um, by the time you watch this video, it's going to be probably two days late, but it's just come out uh, with the new features. This right here down here, if you can see it, is uh, just three icons. This is mean that it's connected to my OBS. This is connecting to uh, to my, uh, I think it's, this is to my uh, alerts, I'm not sure. Uh, and this is connected to my Twitch. One of those three here have to be connected so it can actually, uh, just to demonstrate how that works um when you uh, close it out open again you're gonna see it that it start connecting right here it's connected to my obs it's connected to my you know twitch and everything here so uh once that is connected after you connect everything from uh, to your um your things you're gonna go to the dashboard dashboard once you connect it to your um your twitch account or to the bot that's gonna be the moderator for this bot uh, you're going to click in chat and it's going to appear right here. Your chat ready to go. Uh, this is basically um, your um, is is this one right here is your authenticate bot. That's what it is. This chat. OK. Um, and then uh, uh, after we hear the more moderation, that's where you have the hate rates right here. OK, uh, I'm going to go there in a second. I want to just go give you a look real quick and triggers right here. You have the commands. You can create commands right here and this bot right here to your chat you also can time some uh some commands or some message on your stream right here you can also use it when you click plus you have uh, all these options right here you can yeah, add a command line you can use a file to open obs uh to trigger right here uh a pause uh it's a bunch of stuff that you can actually add it to this command and timer um so this right here and then uh, if you go back here the point channel points when you connect to your twitch you automatically connect to your channel points as well right here and you can add it um just by clicking the plus sign right here and you can add another chat command uh ch channel point to your uh to your uh twitch okay so when you go back here um you can see as well uh channel points uh and then we go into hotkeys you can also uh, distribute hotkeys to your um through your bot as well and the models this is just the models um for cooldown settings uh for added parameter permission settings all here as well and also tts uh you select over here when the audio device um you can which one are you using in each one um you using use this right here sound set is for where you are like if you have a sounds come from this bot they're actually using a file from this bot this is where you're going to come out with your sounds and the for tts where you wanted to the um, text to speech going to your stream so i usually use this one right here because it's different than my uh, my main one which is that one right here 
one pretty cool feature that i really like about in this bot is that actually um on the uh, comments when you create a comment here uh i've been create actually a, a, a tts command here as this one right here you see it uh you just click a tts and uh, actually a command opens right here text to speech the good thing about this is when you add a permission right here uh you just added this permission here you can actually import any specific user to give a voice to your chat so i i've been having a lot of fun with this i actually being able to uh to actually just put a specific person uh, on the chat uh could be also you can talk over here to be a broadcaster moderator vip a t3 subscriber follower non-follower any person over here or a specific person and then uh, you can actually add some effects i'm gonna show another video that how to do it uh, but i just want to show this this is pretty cool all right so now let's go to moderation which is actually does have the hate rates uh, uh, uh tab right here that's where you're going to be using to stop all the actions on your stream if that happens to you so right here on the moderation hate rate we're going to start with line similarity if you click right here on line similar information it says by enable this module the bot will scan the for concurrent line there are percentage similar done by accounts they are with set range of each other the range is measured by the accounts id number it also says over here that it's about 250,000 in accounts per day so the default distance for checking is at 100,000 or just under half a day so what this bot's gonna do in this area right here they're gonna scan if we five chat message with 80 percent similarity uh gets sent to the chat by account they have an id creation distance of maximum 100,000. take the follow actions that means if you five people on your chat are this uh are create uh, are chatting uh or they start doing it at the same time uh and it's a very uh chances that they are created together that may that probably is something that's not gonna be right it's probably a a, a a a fake account so what you can do here is clear your chat first of all to not uh, to spawn anything over there uh you can ban the user and you actually can toggle obs source which you can uh if you have a chat on your screen why this is happening you can turn those chat off and then also you can edit and you're seeing that you have alerts to stop the alerts as well so this is uh this is very common um i have not getting this thing yet once or twice but when you enable it will take care of that for you also disable checking for 50 seconds after a raid so this is when you get a raid and uh, this happens right here with the chat uh it will uh disable uh after 15 seconds Ch checking after 15 seconds the second one will be the follow rate if you some um i'll put over here 50 viewers usually come with that 10 uh when you first open um what happened is if we, 50 viewers follow the uh follows they have id uh creation distance of max 100,000. take the follow actions uh now also over here now why this uh, what is follow raid means uh it says by enable this model the bot will scan for concurrent follow uh by accounts that they are reading and so on the range of each other the range is measured by accounts id number uh is the same uh, principles uh, the first one right here in the bottle um now i set up 50 viewers follow that uh, have raid because if we are uh, 50 uh viewers uh they are creating at the same time and follow to your uh, uh, as a raid in your uh chat that actually is not a real raid uh you can actually disable your chat you can ban the users and you also can talk off your alerts or your uh chat on your screen if you have that so after that you just enable this and it will take care automatically for you okay um i right now have not getting any uh hate rate yet on my channel uh that doesn't mean that i'm not get, ever gonna have it so to have a bot that actually can protect you uh for those uh for those events is super super cool um let me uh i know over here in the bottle i'm gonna show you this is brand new they just added that functionality right here 
uh this is offline mode um what happened is they can also protect you when you offline sometimes if you got viewers offline that are not real viewers this bot can take care of this as well um it says right here protect yourself even when you are offline the selected measures will trigger shortly after going offline on the um and be restored shortly after going online as long as, as the bot is on when going offline or online so as long as the bot is on right there so that means that when you uh, finish your stream make sure the bot's still on for another 30 seconds um and before you go to stream make sure the bot is on uh before 30 seconds going online okay uh and this over here um you can toggle when you enable on off on off right here as well is self-explanatory and the last one is protection button this is the way to you to do it manually okay um that means that let's say if you want to do this manually okay and uh what happened you already have all this set up all enabled right so what you do here uh let's say actions to take you when triggering the protection mode the protection mode so if you want to trigger the line similar actions which will be this right here uh you can turn on if you want to trigger follower uh ray actions which is this right here uh you can turn that on let's say if i wanted to turn those both ons right here turn on follow mode i'm not let's say i don't want to turn on the follow mode but i want to clear the chat and i wanted to toggle their sources which you're going to select right down here uh this protection button which is manually this is what it is right here this is the way to manually activate it and disable protective measures can be done by either clicking the shield icon in dashboard right here uh chat and by using the command or and by using the command um uh, command activated protection slash deactivated protection so what that means is when you turn this on right here and you select your sources when you go to uh dashboard chat you're gonna see right here a shield right over here on the moderation feed when you click on that it will protect you um basically with all, all those sources that you actually uh toggle right here down here so when you click protection um uh, you know i i click over here but i didn't save you remember when you do this uh let's say when you do this what i'm doing right now make sure you save right here i didn't save it that's why so i'm going to chat and it's protected if i don't want it you just click it and it in and it's not protected so this is another way for you to do it manually all right so if you don't want to use the big bot right now yeah before release to stop those raids uh you can do something else on the stream deck uh it's not gonna really stop the uh the hate um uh, the the hate race on your stream like a big bot is going to do because the advance of the uh, moderation over there is so much better uh but you can also use this okay so i'm gonna show you if you have the stream deck right here i have my stream deck open up only thing you gotta do is first of all you're gonna go to your stream deck right here and you're gonna go to your multi-action uh you just drag a multi-action button right here and then a uh, multi-action is gonna allow you to uh put different actions and buttons at once so when you press everything is gonna be doing at once for you so the other thing you gotta do is you gotta look for a, a twitch um a twitch over here on your uh, your stream deck if you don't have it uh what you're going to do you're gonna go to uh go back here to the main go here on the little plus sign uh this is new if you have a 5.0 on the stream deck you click it um just go ahead and uh, uh look for twitch um look for twitch okay when you look for this twitch is not this one here to twitch tools so you're gonna see more it is right here social twitch by elgato right here you install that okay and then you're gonna have uh, this uh twitch right down here so what are you going to do you're going to start to from uh to drag the clear chat you're gonna clear chat make sure that uh when you drag there uh right here account that your account is here when you drag here you're probably gonna see your account if you connected your stream deck to twitch okay uh after that you're going to drag a um you're gonna drag a uh, sub chat okay 
in the sub chat and then you're gonna drag a e uh, email chat right under right there uh and also you're gonna drag the create stream marker okay uh what the what this going to do is gonna create a mark on your stream to know when this happened okay and after that what you're going to do you're gonna go here on obs studio okay and then what you're going to do there you're gonna go and source drag source and this is where you're going to locate your scene where your alerts are okay uh you can drag here your alerts you can put uh you can create another one down here for your chat message they if it's on the screen uh or you can actually create uh use another scene here uh all your scenes on here to activate make sure it's activated um actually on here on the source make sure it's deactivated okay because it's gonna deactivate your alerts and you're gonna deactivate your um your chat on on the screen okay all right so one more thing really quick when you're using uh the stream deck and uh if you using and uh, toggle off your alerts what are you going to do you're gonna go to your obs and then you want to check this because if you don't if it's not checked like that it's not gonna work when you talk that off on the stream deck okay uh you're gonna go right here on um uh, let's see this is my alert overlay you're gonna go to where your alert is okay and you're gonna double click uh, and you're going to see this box right here. Shut down source when not visible. This has to be checked. It. If it's not checked, it, when you click on there and make the action, it will not turn off and it's not going to work properly. OK, and now when you want to create a, another button, OK, for let's say to uh, turn back on everything back on, just right click copy. OK and uh, put in another empty spaces and paste click it back there and the only thing you gotta do here is to activate your uh, alerts or activate your scenes uh your chat your chat on the screen okay so this is how you do on a stream deck uh when that happens now if you do not have a stream deck and you want to have a kind of the same capability uh the only difference is you cannot stop your alerts from this point this uh this another option that i'm going to show you right now you have to out go to obs and toggle off your alerts uh but over here on twitch only thing you can do here is uh if you go to the plus sign right here and you uh you can actually add it uh uh you can add it the uh right here clear chat history okay you can add it the uh token mode only chat you can talk sub only chat right here or follow chat and then you can actually uh, add a marker okay just the way we did there uh however when we do over here see right here uh you can uh, toggle clear chat if you want to clear the chat if that happens to your stream you can just toggle on emote only and sub uh, only chat that way you stop all everything it is being reading on your chat and uh, this right here at stream market will come out when you uh go live so this is a a, a kind of way to do it but overall i definitely uh think that bikubot is doing a much better job in the whole situation of uh, stop those those hate rates but this is also another way for you to do it in case you don't have bikubot yet uh, when it come out all right i hope this video was very helpful to you to actually take actions for this uh hate raid situation on twitch uh either or one of those things that you can do on this video is going to be helpful to you i highly recommend a big bot this is really going to be great uh when it's come out in full release and right now i see also on um, this hate raid module being already working with some already people being posted on the discord that actually is being protected then so if you like this video don't forget to hit the like if you don't subscribe yet just don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next video